Hola, 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 hola. Welcome to this week's lesson. Yay. Awesome. So as we do every week, just waiting because I know there's a delay and I'm pulling you up on my phone so that I can see you all. Hello. Welcome to this week's lesson on developing your into your third eye and your intuition part three. So I'm so excited to bring this information to you. I hope that you have been practicing because that's going to play a big key as to the progression that you're going to receive today. So today's lesson, let me get this. I've almost forgot. Okay, great. So today you're going to need three index cards. Okay. And on each card, you're going to write no, yes, and maybe. So you're going to write, there's going to be a yes card, there's going to be a maybe card, and there's going to be a no card, okay? And you want all cards to be identical. They're going to feel the same, look the same, other than the words on it. And we're going to be using that today. So I'm really excited. Um, let me just make sure that everything is up and running. <laughs> okay, great. And I have everything set up for you today. So what we're going to start with right now is we're going to declare our pledge. Okay, so here I go. I have the pledge here and I invite you to share it and to say it with me. So I pledge that from this moment on, I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. I will be kind to myself I will love myself in every state that I am in. I will invest in my personal growth. I say yes to myself and I completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to achieve all good into my life. Great. Thank you for reciting that with me. Woo. It always feels so good because it just reminds you of where you are and your potential and all the possibilities that you can create in this moment. You know, everything that you do is always in the moment. It's not in the past. It's not in the future. If you could focus on the right now, you will be able to create a, a possibility of a life that really works for you. So, here we go. I'm really excited to get to this information today. So remember your three index cards, go get them, write the word maybe, yes and no. Okay, great. Awesome. Woo. Woo. <laughs> so, um, so this is where we're going to begin. We're going to activate our third eye like we do in old the videos part one and part two and now in part three this is important before doing any practice with intuition because it's going to allow you to to have clarity because if you just try to go into it without doing the activating of your third eye it gets really really hard and you may not be able to connect the way and get the clarity that you're actually really looking for when you're connecting to your intuition. Okay. So let's rub our hands. Great, great, great. And remember that if you share this video, you get entered into a raffle of winning a one hour free one hour coaching session with me. Awesome. So just feel the energy start to build and build and bring in your attention into your hands, your energy flow. Great. Now slowly slow down and then just put your hands into prayer position. Wonderful. Now pull your hands out just a little bit so you can feel the energy activating in your hands. Beautiful. And now move it out just a little bit more. Okay. Great. And a little bit more. Great. And just feel it. Right? If I'm going too fast for you, that means you haven't been practicing. Because at this point you should be able you should be able to master this part right now. And bring it out a little bit more. And you should still feel 
the energy between your hands. You might feel it most in your palms. Okay. So now take one of your hands and we're going to transmute the energy from our thumb into the third eye chakra here. Okay, so we're just letting the energy come through us into the thumb, opening the third eye. Great. Opening the third eye. Now slowly move it out just a little bit so you could still feel the energy. Right, so I'll show you from the side view. So you could still see and feel the energy. If you don't feel it, bring your thumb back into the third eye area. Focus on that area. Beautiful. And bring it out. Okay, great. Now you could put your hands down and you will start feeling as you did in the first two videos. Okay, great. Now that we're, we have it activated, we're now connecting. Keep it open, keep it open, keep it open. Take your three index cards and just pick the one that says yes. Okay, so the index card that says yes, I want you now to look at the yes, right? Look at it with your eyes and I want you to feel, tap into your body, feel what it feels like through the third eye as well to see what it looks like to see yes through the third eye, not just your eyes, but through the third eye. And you're just looking at your index card, okay? Uh, it's too shiny, you can't see my yes. Um, but just stare at that and, and just see what it feels like in your body. What does yes feel like? What's happening in your body? Be aware of that. What does the yes feel in your body? Okay, great. Now we're going to put that down. Now we're going to do the same thing with no. So now we went, we put the, the yes down. So now I want you to look, oops, I want you to look at the no, stare at the no. Okay, stare at the no. And feel what that feels like in your body. Feel what the no feels like in your body. No rushing, just Practice this as much as you can. Feel the no. Feel what it feels like to have a no in your body. Okay, great. Now put that down. And we're going to now do it with the maybe. Okay, now you have the maybe. Look at the maybe. Beautiful. And feel what it feels like to have the maybe in your body. What does that feel like in your body having the maybe? Right? What, what, what feelings is it that's happening, right? What's your body doing? We're not talking about emotional feelings. We're just saying what does it feel like in your body? Okay, so just focus on the word maybe. Okay, great. So you just did the first part where you allow your body to feel what it feels like to have a yes, a no, and a maybe. Now practice that part, like the distinction of how that feels in your body um, before you go on to the next step. But we're going to do that because we're here now together and you can pause me and, and do it when you're ready. Okay, great. And so now I want you to put the cards down, okay, and just like shuffle them, okay, so you might hear me shuffling them. Um, just shuffle the cards and now just separate them, okay, not seeing the words, okay, so you, you have them face down, you're not seeing the words and you're shuffling them. Now I want you to take in a deep breath in and out, <sighs> wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, you're doing great. So now, what you're going to do is you're gonna close your eyes, close your eyes and pick a card. Okay, pick one. Do not look at it, keep your eyes closed and just allow yourself to feel in your body. Allow yourself to feel in your body 
the response of that, keeping your eyes closed. Okay, is it a yes, is it a no, or is it a maybe? Okay, you have three choices here, a, y a yes, a no, or maybe. And see what you feel, okay? Just feel it out. And depending on your learning style and your individual spiritual connection, you may experience this differently. For some of you, you might see the word yes pop up through your third eye or no pop up or whatever word it is in your third eye. For others of you, you will feel the sensation in your body very strongly. And for others of you, you may hear the yes, you may hear the no. You just have a knowing that it is that response. Yes, no, or maybe. Okay. Taking a deep breath in. And let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. Now, you have your response. You, 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 okay, you have your response. Yes, no, or maybe. And now flip over the card. So I have maybe here. Okay, so that's the card that I ended up picking. Where you write. Right, where you write with your response, right? Did you say maybe and you got a maybe or did you, was it wrong? Now, remember, this is fun. This is playful. And the more playfulness you bring into this, the more accurate you will actually become. Because when you are having fun, you are more receptive to receiving accuracy through your connection, through the intuition, Okay, when you're tense and trying to get it right, get it right, most of the time you get it wrong. Okay, and you have many testimonials in your own life of that. So I'm telling you, have fun. So let's do this again. Take the cards, shuffle them. Okay, shuffle the cards. Right, no cheating. <laughs> shuffle all the cards. Wonderful. Now close your eyes. And pick a card, okay? And feel the card. Don't look at the card. Feel the card. See what happens. The first response you get is your intuition connecting with you, okay? The first response you get is your intuition connecting with you. So allow that to permeate through you, right? Feel it out. Great. And as time goes on, you, you'll get faster and faster. Okay. Wonderful. Now, open your eyes. Look at your card. I got yes this time. Okay. What did you get? <laughs> right? See, see what you get. And practice that as many times as you want to. But in order for you to get this part, you first need to know what it feels like to have each one. So that first section that we felt each card, is going to be very important when it comes to doing this part, which is the real, real fun part. I have so much fun doing this. Now, this is great, right? And this is going to help you. And next week, we're going to be talking about, um, we're going to take this a little bit more deeply next week. Right now, I'm getting you used to what it feels like to have certain responses without having an, uh, a question or something. Next week, we will actually be working on you asking some questions and then using the cards, okay? But in order for you to get to that level and to get the accuracy, you need to be able, okay, to master this part first. Okay, to be able to master what it feels like for each response. Okay, wonderful. Now, I want to make sure that I covered everything I wanted to share with you today. <gasps> okay, now, so if you were my client, what I would be giving you as an assignment is that I would tell you to work on this every single day. Okay, and not only that you work on this every single day, but you also, your assignment will also be that you will, you will, you won't stop until you get five right that day. So let's say it's two, it's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. So let's say it's Tuesday. 
and you won't move on to the next thing that you're doing until you get five consecutive correct responses based on the card. So you'll be like, okay, is this a yes or no? Because what that's going to do is going to really test your ability to channel the accurate answer. Now, I don't know if there's like breaking up because I see like it's kind of breaking up on here. So if you really are serious about creating your intuition, if you're really serious about making this a part of your practice and to really use it, because why do I want intuition? Why do you want to build your intuition? Other than like, okay, cool, I could, you know, maybe do some tarot cards or something like that. The reason why intuition is so important in developing it is because it helps you in your everyday life. It has helped me in my everyday life because it provides more clarity. I'm not saying all the time that I have complete clarity around everything, but it makes it a lot easier for me to get clarity when I am activated, right? When my intuition is activated. And like that, you're less reliant on other people. You have less worry and you stop procrastinating. That is one of the biggest things with intuition is that not that it helps you stop procrastinating. It makes it easier for you to make decisions so you won't procrastinate. Okay, so that is why this is so, so cool. Now, I also want to to show you here that imagine what that would be like in your life. Imagine that, you know, here you are, let's say you have two or three options on where to go in life. Oh, I could go here, I could do this, or I could do that. You have three options. And what, when you have your intuition intact, what it does is it allows you to be able to see and move into the direction of creating this beauty, this amazing decision that probably would take you like forever to get to, right? I'm exaggerating, right? But it would take you a lot longer and there's going to be a lot of worry. Just imagine in life if you can say, okay, I have these three options and you start connecting to your intuition and then your intuition leads you to the path that you, that is best for you at that moment, right? The path that makes you feel most in alignment in that moment, right? And for the future, of you and what you want to experience that supports the possibilities and the outcomes and the results that you are wanting to manifest in your life. Okay, so just think about that. And I also want to offer you the opportunity to have a 20 minute complimentary session with me so that I can work with you one on one on what are your specific gifts like we talked about earlier. Okay, you might feel it in your body. You might see the word. You might hear it. And I can help you distinguish which way is the most accurate way for you so that then you can use that and strengthen that muscle because intuition is a muscle just like anything else. And as the more you practice, the better you get, the easier it becomes and it's no longer a task and it becomes a part of your lifestyle. And that is something that I want to offer you is that you can really make this a part of your life where everything is through the divine connection that you want to receive and your decisions become easier. And when your decisions become easier and more simple, you are more effective. You become effective in your life and you create this result that it, you may, you create a result more more sooner right sooner than you would if you were to like just procrastinate so much and decision and your intuition allows you to make decisions okay it gives you the opportunity so that you can see clearly so you can make that decision because if you see what is there for you you won't want to not go for it because you're gonna have so so much excitement Right. It's like, OK, which path leads me to bringing in more health, more money, more love? And you see the pathway. You're not going to want to procrastinate on it. You're going to go for it. You're going to do the steps. And that's what intuition really does. 
So if you're on my Facebook page, uh, Facebook backslash Miracles Within Us, you'll see this button that says sign up and it'll take you directly to my calendar so we could see which one is your accurate one. So I'm so excited to be here with you all. I'll also have that below this video. And until the next time, I love you unconditionally.